Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today we're gonna be doing my December Boxy Charm unboxing, but with a little bit of a twist because for this month I actually got the Boxy Lux, which is like takes up the whole screen pretty much. Um, I actually signed up for like the last Boxy Lux because they do it every three months, so. I think in October or September or something like that, but I wasn't able to actually get it. There was like, I think, I don't know if it was maybe because it was my first time trying to do the Boxy Lux, that there was like a wait list with it. The, you had to like go through the website and confirm or something like that. Um, but there were too many people or there was something wrong with the website, something like that. I don't even know. But I wasn't able to get it and I was really, really wanting to get it because there was the um, Tarte Park Avenue or Park Ave palette, the contour, and I thought it was worth it because the box, like the price of the box, was pretty much how much that one palette was. Um, I have seen a couple of the sneak peeks of what's in this month's Boxy Charm, not the Boxy Lux itself, but I am super excited. Um, I just filmed a video yesterday, but I really wanted to try and get this out as soon as possible since it's a, since it's already halfway through the month. So you'll probably see this before that video, and then I also have a vlog, at least I hope I have enough footage for that vlog. Part of my family and I went to New York um, like two weeks ago, um, just for the weekend, literally just the two days, and I think I got enough to make like a small little vlog, so that might also be coming up for you guys to see. But let's go ahead and jump right into the video. I think there's skincare in this box, so that's why I have nothing, nothing, nothing on my face. Um, but let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so this is actually pretty massive. I'm gonna show you, I just opened it. Like, this is humongous. Um, I already saw some brushes in there, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead and open up a little pamphlet. It always comes with this little brochure, and it pretty much tells you, ooh. And it pretty much tells you um, what's in the box. There's a lot of stuff. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine items in my box this month. It's a pretty big list um, of all the stuff we're gonna be trying out together, I think, hopefully. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. What's this first thing here? PYT Mini Hair Straightener. We're probably not gonna use this because even though they do me straightening my hair because I would take ages. Very, very tiny. Um, my phone's, it's the size of my phone. Almost. Just so you guys can see kind of like the reference and I have an iPhone 7. I don't know what I would use this for because I have a lot of hair. Maybe like after I blow dry it to do some nice curls. Um, I'll let you guys know once I use it and what I think of it. But definitely not going to try that out today. There's this Glam AF bag. This little makeup bag. This is actually really cute. I um Oh, there's something in here. Is this a portable charger? Yes! Wow, this is actually really neat. I only have one portable charger that I bought that I bought not too long ago, um, but I already broke it. So this is coming in perfect, and I love the bag. Next is, I hope it's Elemis. Maybe that's what it is. Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream, and it's an anti-wrinkle day cream for fine lines and wrinkles. I don't know that this is something that I will use. So I'm going to ask my statistician if this is something that I should use. This is the most expensive thing in the box. The mini hair straightener is $75. That thing is tiny. That's like for babies or like dolls. Oh my gosh. I would never. My straightener that I have right now is like $35. I bought it at Ulta. It was in sale plus like, you know, with their coupons or whatever. And it's like a regular size straightener and it works perfectly fine. So um, I will definitely be asking my statistician if this is something that I should use um, because we kind of have me on some specific products because we're trying to fight um, my acne. I was going to do Accutane. I was going to do Accutane. I even went to my dermatologist and everything signed up because you have to like register with the state or the government or something like that because it's such a controlled medication treatment but I decided to kind of just go with an esthetician that 
I already knew and she was going to school for it, but she already knows like her stuff. She's just getting certified. She's amazing. I'm going to leave her Instagram link down below for you guys. So you guys can start following her. If you're in the Orlando area, reach out to her. She'll answer any questions you have. Um, you can schedule a facial with her. She is ama amazing, amazing. Um, her name's me. She's amazing. Next is this Spongel, Spongilly Blossom Bliss Body Wash Infused buffer let's go ahead and open it it says the benefits is body wash and buffer dermatologist tested formulated with extracts of yuzu l edelweiss edelweiss and fentanyl to moisturize soften and cleanse with built-in sponge wash for multiple luxurious showers so i'm not going to try this in camera either but i will also let you guys know how that goes that sponge is $20. I guess I should have done my skincare because there's nothing here that um, is going to impediment me from doing my makeup. I'm going to do that. So most of these products that I just kind of talked through with you guys is not anything that's going to be on this video, which I guess is good because it wouldn't be as long. But I'm going to go ahead and do like my skincare routine, moisturize and everything. I'm going to do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be right back. For this next part, there's two items that we're going to be utilizing from the box. The first one is the Violet Boss Pro HG Palette. And it looks a little bit like this. It's super, super cute. There's a lot of like warm tones, um, browns in there, some shimmers as well. I've heard really um, mixed reviews about Violet Boss. Some people are like, the eyeshadows are amazing. They are smooth creamy all this amazing stuff and then some people it's like yeah you know you can get the same thing for something that's drugstore i've never tried them myself so this is going to be my first time trying it on camera with you guys and then the next item which we will be using to create the eye look are these luxie brushes it's a set of eight makeup brushes here and there are three eye brushes and then i'll be using some of these for my face for this part i'm probably gonna fast forward through a lot of it if i come on and tell you kind of like what i should i'm using i will but if not i'll just be pointing to everything okay so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump right in so i already primed my lips but i didn't set it so i'm gonna go in with things a latte this creamy eyeshadow right here and I'm gonna go in with the Loxy 229 Teggy Bird Blending Brush. So now I'm going to be switching brushes. It's going to be the Luxie 213 Eye Shading Brush. I'm going to go in with the brown right here, brownie point. I'm gonna use the Loxy 221 to add. I think I'm gonna go in with Poof. I think that's how you say it. This one. Right here, it's 
the shimmer shade. And we'll just see how that goes. I'm gonna go in with um, the transition shade, which is actually called transition, and just blend out these edges right out here. But I really do like that shimmer shade. It's really intense. And, and I added just a little bit more of that shade Teddy Bear, the darker brown right down here, to the outer corners, kind of just to blend in that shimmer. And I am just going to go in and kind of blend these edges out a little bit. Um, I don't really do cut creases. I think I've maybe done it like once. <laughs> and I think maybe I brought it up a little bit too high, but then... When I like open my eyes, you could still see it. So maybe I did it. Maybe I'm doing it fine. I don't know. You guys let me know. Cut creasing is not something that I do every day. The eyes are pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and move on with the rest of my face. Add a little bit of blush, which is the Note Desert Rose blush. This one I also got in my box of charm a couple of months ago. I am pretty much obsessed with this blush. I just noticed that I am actually missing something from my box of charm. It's not here. Um, the Wonder Beauty Dust to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette, I don't have. So I'm going to have to reach out to Boxy Farm for that. I'm going to go in with this Laura Pro Lash Primer, Lash Pomade. This is a very big brush and it's very angled. This is kind of like, I think, a primer. Increase thickness, shine, curl length to your lashes with pomade. I want to show you guys just really quickly. All I did right now is just curl my lashes with the pomade. And look how freaking intense they look. Let me see you guys in a little bit. As you guys can see. What? That's crazy. But that is pretty beautiful. Okay, so this video is definitely like all over the place. Um, I curled my lashes and I applied some mascara. I'm kind of really liking how it looks without any falsies right now. So I'm going to kind of move on to the lips and finish up the eyes and then see kind of like how I like it without mascara or without um, falsies on. So right now I'm going to go in with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Los Angeles and just line my lips. Now we're going to go in with Tardius Shimmering Lip Paint. Oh, that is pretty. It's a very golden shimmery thing. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Mm, smells very like chocolatey. Wow. 
I love this. And it goes so well with the look too. Can you guys see like the shimmers? I really love this. This is, I'm pretty sure gonna become one of my favorites. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the Loxy 213, the eye um, shading brush. I cleaned it off. Um, and I'm gonna go in with the shade hashtag, which is that like orange. And now I'm gonna go in with the Lux C221, which I also cleaned off. And I'm gonna go in with the shade Teddy Bear, which is that darkest brown there that we used on the outer corners of our eyelid. And for this, I'm really just gonna tight line. I'm gonna go in with the shade Crystal, which is this um, shimmery shade there. Oh, but that's beautiful. And then I'm gonna go in with that same crystal shade with this BH Cosmetics brush and just highlight my inner corner there. I just curled my lashes one more time to see how I feel about them before deciding if I am or not gonna put some falsies on. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm definitely not gonna put any falsies on. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I really, really hope that you enjoyed watching. I really hope you guys liked it. There's a lot of things that we did not try on camera, like the mini straightener, of course a portable charger, but it's a portable charger, like, I don't think there's anything for me to show on camera for that. There is the anti-aging cream and then the shower buffer. But I will be letting you guys know how I like it once I start utilizing them. Um, if I do with the um, Asia cream, I will let you guys know. I'm going to definitely reach out to BoxyCharm because I did not receive my Wonder Beauty Dust to Dawn um, blush and highlighter palette. Which I did see like everybody get. So I'm definitely going to be reaching out to them and see what's going on with that. And then if I try it or if I receive it, I will let you guys know. Let's just kind of discuss the products that we did try. There's only two brushes that I didn't use during this whole video. And there's um, a spoolie that came in with the kit. As well as a lip pencil or a lip brush. I don't really use lip um, brushes like that. I will maybe probably use it for maybe like cutting the crease or adding um, shimmer shades to the lid. That's something that I could try it for. But when it comes to the three brushes that we tried or that I did use, I really, really did like them. Um, I loved utilizing this one to really get like in the outer corners and blend those shadows out. Usually I use a more fluffier brush to blend like the crease and transition colors and things like that. But this is these are the only three. I'm lying. I used one of my Morphe brushes, but that was like a clean one to kind of like blend everything out on the edges. But these are the only three that I utilize to create the look that I have on right now. When it comes to the face brushes, there's three of them. I really, very much so, enjoyed working with the round top blender brush. This is what I use for my foundation. And then as you guys might see in the video, um, I also utilized it to blend some of my contour out because I was trying to use this one, which is the Pro Precision Face 680. And it just wasn't really blending things out how I wanted to. This will probably be mostly used um, by me for foundation as well. I'm gonna try it that way, but I did really like it for the nose, to contour the nose and kind of like add some shadows to the sides of my nose. And then the tapered highlighter brush, I'm not gonna use for highlighter. I don't, I'm not really a big highlighter person in the first place, but this thing is huge. So I used this for blush, which I really, really enjoyed. I'm gonna try it next time for contouring and bronzing, because I think this would be perfect to get like right in there. I think it's gonna be amazing. So the brush is beautiful. Eyeshadow palette. This thing is pretty damn awesome. I really loved all the shadows that I used. When it comes to the mattes, um, the Fangs Latte, this one right here, like that cream shadow, and then Transition, which is what I use as my transition color for the crease. They were very powdery, um, but then I thought it was gonna be like all mattes, and I used Hashtag, and Hashtag wasn't as powder powdery as those two there. Um, the poof that I used, the shimmer one, I absolutely love. 
like it's I didn't use any setting mist or setting sprays or wet my brush or anything like that and I think that shadow is just beautiful 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 there and it doesn't seem to be budging or going anywhere right Lorac Pro Lash Pomade this and that lip paint might just be my favorite and I and I only say that because I have so many eyeshadow palettes I really really like the shadows in this palette but I feel like I have a lot of shadows that have these same shades I think that's it I don't think I have anything else to say I'm gonna try and edit this as soon as possible and as fast as possible to put it up for you guys because I know it's already towards the middle of the month and I really hope you guys enjoyed it there's two more other videos coming you'll probably see this one first although those two happened before this one. I don't think I really have anything else to say besides thank you for coming and spending a little bit of time in my channel. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe down below. Maybe on this side, wherever it comes up. And if you know somebody that might enjoy this video, go ahead and share it. That way we can continue growing this small channel together. Until next time, guys, I really appreciate you and love you. Bye.